Welcome, I'm Blanca Vergara, founder of Parenting the Gods, and today we are welcoming a brilliant speaker to our, our show. She, her name is Lepa Todorova. She is the founder of Baby Science Belgium. She is an independent certified instructor of original baby science. This is a program that is the leading program of a sign language worldwide. She has brought this program to Belgium, where she uh, teaches it in English, in French, in Macedonian and in Serbo-Croatian. And she is based in the beautiful city of Brussels. Thank you very much for being here with us, Lepa. Uh, we're delighted to have you with uh, this uh, great theme of uh, sign language. Hi, Blanca. I'm so excited too, and thank you very much for this invitation. Terrific. Well, tell us, what's, what is sign language for children? What, what is this? So this is the world leading baby sign um, program for hearing babies. And it's a way to communicate with uh, babies before they are able to talk. Actually, it's a, you know it's a, it's a, it's a mean for the parents and for the babies to to communicate to each other before the babies are re really able to to speak to talk. And the, uh, this is uh, uh, very interesting. You will have said that sign language was for deaf children of deaf people, but this is in fact for uh, children who can speak. So what is the advantage? How, uh, how was this born or how does it work? So the, this has been born in the 80s and 90s by two child uh, development experts, uh, Dr. Linda Credolo and Dr. Susan Goodwin. Uh, they have been, uh, they have um, set up a study with uh, help from the American National Institute for Health and they have been following uh, two groups of children, one uh, to which they introduced the baby sign language and to their parents and the other one they had n not, you know, introduced the, the baby sign language and they have been following them uh, to see how how they how they develop and what are the differences and then they realized amazing things uh, with the babies that have been using the baby sign language and we will talk later on about the the benefits from the from the sign language it's basically a very simple way uh, to communicate it's as simple as waving bye bye or nodding for yes or you know, shaking the head for no. It's basically really that uh, very simple science adapted to to babies, and um, it's simple and an, a very natural way of communication. That's very important to emphasize. It is a program that is basically, as I said, designed for hearing babies mostly and first of all, uh, and it's a way for communication between the parents and the babies before they can talk. It provides babies with signs they can easily use to express their needs, their thoughts and feelings until they have words to do so. And uh, uh, this makes me think of uh, autistic children or children with uh, Asperger's syndrome that uh, have a difficulty communicating. Could this be of use for these kind of children? Absolutely. So for decades, speech language, uh, speak language professionals have used signs simultaneously with a speech in treating children who are slow to develop verbal communication. Using sign language has also proven to be a successful inter intervention with children with special needs, including Down syndrome and autism. Oh, um, now, as far as um, using baby signs and gestures with children who have autism, or any speech delays, we, the instructors at Baby Sign, use the same method, method as with the hearing babies and the babies who doesn't have those kinds of, of problems. 
The one recommendation that I have heard for many um, ICIs, those are the in, the international certified instructor, the independent certified instructor, sorry, who work with children with autism, is that the play classes, we have play classes, may be overstimulating for them because there is music and, um, you know, um, activities, some, some activities, uh, too much going on. It's for, you know, it's like, a, it's a social environment with other families and babies with toys, etc. And so it, it is, in the end, it might not be very helpful for them. On the other hand, the parent workshop that we are doing would be a, a perfect thing for adults or parents to learn the process. Another option might be our educational resources like the DVDs, the board books, the flashcards, etc. And I have something from that I would like to read if you allow, allow me uh, on, on autism. It's um, from Stephen M. Anderson, a PhD from the Center for the Study of Autism in Salem, Oregon, in the United States, who writes, Many aberrant behaviors associated with autism and other developmental disabilities, such as aggression, tantruming, self-injury, anxiety and depression, are often attributed to an inability to communicate to others. Signed speech may, at the very least, allow the person to communicate using signs and may stimulate verbal language skills. When teaching a person to use sign language, another possible benefit may be the facilitation of their attentiveness to social gestures of others as well as of themselves. So that's one expert, you know, who had, um, who, who have uh, experience with working with autism children and what he's saying. And finally, what I would uh, say is that it probably depends also on the individual child and where they stand on the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, very personal. But, but it's, yes, but it's, it, it could be very, very helpful for, for, for those children having those kinds of problems. Give us a taste. Uh, what uh, uh, do we expect uh, in a, of, of a method like that? How does it look like? Uh, what do you mean? I yeah, it think... teaches a, a, a sign. How? Uh, uh... You mean how, the, how would how would it look like in, in, in you know in the in the practice? Yes. In daily life. Oh yeah, sure. So I can use my my friend here, Bebo who we use very much in our, you know, workshops and classes and babies just love him. <laughs> so just in a few, in a few seconds, he would be able to say hello. And we will be able to show you a few signs. Let me just put that. So Bebo is uh, one of our, you know, basic resources actually when we are doing, you know, our, our workshops and especially the classes where the babies are uh, present with their, with their, with their parents. And as I say, it draws attention, you know, with the yellow. How do you say in, in English? Uh, I, I know the, the word in French now. Globes. Globes. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, beautiful. Bibo and I are dressing the same colors. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. What a great idea that. Yeah. So here's Bibo. Hi, Bibo. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> So when we show the, the, the science, it's actually to show also how, uh, how simple and how natural it is and um, uh, to, to show you also the process actually of, of uh, how to, to, to show the sign to your baby. So for example, uh, we, will, uh, we can start with the, one of the basic signs, which is the sign for eat. That is this, show eat people there. So this is the sign for E. And so how do you do that? So you get your baby's, uh, Bibo will be my baby today. And so you get your, your baby's attention, okay? So you, you look at them and you, you say like, Bibo, do you want to eat? 
do you want to eat Bibo? So you, you, you connect with them eye to eye, you show the sign, and uh, you also uh, tell it. So you, you speak, you say the word. It's very important because they, um, they tend to associate the symbol with the word and it's, um, it uh, really um, helps them also to develop their language skills later on. Okay? And so, uh, so as I said, you connect with them eye to eye and you show the sign, you repeat it. It's very important to repeat the sign. And then you can also try to, you know, um, with the, you know, like help them to, to do, to repeat the sign. And some children, some babies, you, you know, they will resist. They don't want, you know, that, uh, that contact or you, you know, you, you know, you taking their hand and doing that and, you know, so just let it go. If they don't want, you know, that, uh, don't do it just keep repeating and saying the the word and repeating the sign and eventually they will start to sign back this okay. is a uh, terrific uh, also in my mind for uh multi-language uh families multicultural families but i assume that uh you come from one of those in uh, belgium with uh, french and, and dutch and my house is uh english dutch and spanish that you yes. must have lots of customers like that. Yes, actually, it's very, it's uh, very interesting, and it might be, uh, might get quite confusing with uh, multi, multilingual and multicultural children. What happens actually in those kinds of uh, families and environments is that the children, for example, hear few or more uh, words for the same thing, right? And so when children first start learning about the language, they quite naturally look for one-to-one -one correspondence between the words and the objects or the actions they, they label. Let's take the example for milk. This is the sign for milk. Yeah. So, uh, for example, babies in an English envir only environment, uh, upon hearing the word milk, of hearing, so we are not at the, uh, with the sign now, though they're hearing the word milk in the presence of the white thing, white stuff in their bottle, will eventually learn to associate both uh, together, you know? So they would like go, hmm, so I get it, the white stuff in my bottle is milk. But however, life gets a bit more, you know, complicated when they hear few words for the same thing, like they hear the English word for milk, but they hear the Spanish one, which is leche, right? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so, you know, they, it's, it's, it, it might be a bit confusing. So they will like go, mm, sometimes I hear milk, but sometimes I hear leche. So what's going on? So here, um, what they need to figure out is that both words, are equally important labors for, for milk. So they are basically the same. And, and this is where the signing comes to the rescue. By adding a sign to the mix, so the sign for milk, so that the same visual symbol, the sign, accompanies both words milk and leche, parents make the job of connecting the, the object with the meanings of both words much easier for babies. In other words, when the baby will hear leche paired with sign, and then also hears milk with the same sign, uh, the pieces will fall into place and the, the child will go, aha, oh. these words mean the same thing. You know, because they, they as I said, they, they are, you know, connecting the, the word yes. and the symbol, and that's how the, the language development goes too, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they will associate both, both things and it will be much easier for them to, to understand and also later, also to, uh, you know, to, to express themselves. The bottom line is that rather than confusing your bilingual or trilingual child, this will help smooth the road to understanding uh, and speaking both languages. Yeah, 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 I can imagine, I can imagine. And uh, how early can we start? At, uh, really from uh, newborns, can we start telling them uh, letter? 
<laughs> yeah. So that depends really on the on the parent, Lanka. So you can, I mean, if you are a patient person, you know, basically, uh, and you know, you don't, you're not eager to get uh, immediate results. You can start, uh, or par I mean, parents can start um, even while you know the mother is pregnant and still carrying the child. If they want to, you know, learn and practice more for themselves first of all, so they might start at that. I mean, during their pregnancy, even. Uh, now, uh, if if you are, you know, a little bit more impatient and more eager to see, you know, results, then you might start later on. Like, uh, we encourage, we encourage, you can start at any stage, as I said, but let's say that if you want some results sooner, you might start around the sixth or eighth month. And then you can expect uh the, the baby to to sign back at around around the 10th month let's say wow. but that depends also on the child so the the individual the child sure. is, is itself himself or herself and um uh, their developmental priorities also because you know we have learned that um that uh, babies uh, have developmental priorities, so some of them might not be uh, interested immediately in communicating, talking, books, signing, uh, speaking, but more in developing their motor skills, you know, learning how to walk or crawl and, you know, explore like that if you want. So you might not get them to sign to you um, as fast as you might want them and uh, at least not until they finish this developmental milestone. Um, you know, you ha we have uh, parents saying, my baby is more interested in, in, you know, in, in climbing the, the bookstores than <laughs> in the books, you know. So it's their developmental priority and it's perfectly fine and normal. So just, you know, keep repeating your signs. Um, you know, keep practicing, keep uh, keep going, and at one point they will sign back, and it will be, you know, like a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're starting to answer my next question. You are starting to read my mind. Uh, Maybe it's a developmental uh, priority. Will the sign language discourage a child from speaking, from actually starting? No. No, so Tell this us about is uh, sound and resounding no and oh no. So uh, what they have, um, Dr. Linda Cradle and Susan Goodwin um, have, um, you know, uh, learned from their studies uh, is that um, oh, besides the many the many benefits, so that we that we will talk maybe a little bit uh, late or or here is that um, it, it actually encourages their, their, their um, language development, if you want. So uh, the, the thing is that um, it, um, it's a, it's a, um, a signing is a mean to start talking. You know, it's not something that they will, it will discourage them. On the, on the contrary, it will encourage them. We at Baby Science um, um, compare signing with crawling. So when your when your child, you know, starts baby starts cr uh, crawling, is he or she discouraged to learn how to walk? No. No, on the contrary, he is even more encouraged to explore and eager to learn how to walk so that he, he will be able to explore even more and, you know, with even more and bigger challenges after, afterwards. So the same thing goes for signing. So uh, the um, signing will encourage them uh, to, you know, um, exploring ways to communicate with their parents and, you know, the, the environment with other, you know, people in their environment and, um, and um, in them to start, uh, to start speaking to, you know, yeah. so, which is the, the next step actually uh, in, in their development is the, the language yeah, and the, the speaking. And so that will, 
you know, that will enable them to communicate more easily with the people surrounding them, to show them their world also, because they really want to show you what's, what's in their world too, you know, and there is so much going on in their little heads. You, you will be amazed at what you will discover as soon as you will start, you know, using the sign language and, uh, you know, the, the things that they want to show you to talk about. And also, it's um, as, I, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's a way for them to express their needs and their thoughts and, um, you know, really show you their, their, their yeah. world. Like, a, again, you're... Uh... It's a of their minds. I, again, you are uh, reading my mind. Uh, uh, I think you are leading already to to this question of um, uh, what's the difference between a child who knows sign language and a child who doesn't. So, in other words, what are the advantages? What, uh, what yeah, what's better? There are many, many, many benefits from signing. Uh, the the most important, let's say, and the, the one that we first uh, talked about uh, in our uh, parent workshop, for example, is that uh, it reduces frustration, cries, tantrums. It's building trust. It allows babies to share their world, as I mentioned. It, it, it is enhancing and strengthening, strength, strengthening Sorry, the parent-infant bond, so the social and the emotional bond, and you know every other <laughs> possible bond between the parent and the infant. It's from it uh, pro it promotes positive emotional development. It boosts their self-confidence. It helps them to learn to talk. It helps them to get more interested in books and reading. It jump starts their intellectual development. It reveals really how smart they are. And over the two decades of uh, more than two decades now, baby science research uh, has shown that these proven benefits are, affect different areas of uh, the child's development. So uh, the using uh, the using of the baby science uh, program it will stimulate will stimulate the social emotional development the language development and the cognitive development. We have also uh, three books actually at Baby Science that these two doctors have um, written. Um, the first one is the Baby Science, of course. There is the uh, Baby Hearts and Baby Minds also. And uh, there you have also um, um, exercises as to how um, how uh, to um, so to encourage them if you want and to help them develop the cognitive the language skills and the, the social emotional skills as well wow so they, it really works in their in their brain yeah it's a way of rewiring them really powerful uh, I uh, I, I believe that the, uh, the children who are being born nowadays are particularly different, uh, uh, not only because of their physical, uh, their DNA, but also where, where they are. Now we have internet, now we have all kinds of technology. Uh, in which way this method is particularly suited for these, uh, for these nowadays children? Well, as you say, as you said, the presence of the technology, you know, the iPhones, the iPads, iPods, computers, etc., et mm -hmm. is, is really, you know, in the lives of those young children from their very early age. So I see many, you know, children uh, at early age in front of YouTube uh, watching, you know, videos and uh, different kinds of programs that uh, we might think they are educational and everything, but in, in amidst all of that, they are uh, losing in a way the, the, the interpersonal interaction with other people, with their parents, first of all. So it's very important and very, um, you know, you know, like if effective to start using baby science, it will help as I, as I mentioned before, also enhance this social emotional bond between the parent and the, 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 infant, uh, the infant. And, um, and for this reason, so anything that can make them interacting with real people, 
is really beneficial and exciting and rewarding, especially at early ages, and that will encourage them. Um, it should be encouraged in order to offset the draw of, uh, of technology. And signing is a great candidate because having signs enables babies and toddlers to uh, communicate easily and enjoyably at especially early ages and thereby increasing the, the satisfaction very young children have in interacting with real people and laying a positive foundation for the future. Social interaction is so uh, huge. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's tremendous it, how the technology really, has isolated us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We are really, we are isolating ourselves and we are isolating our children, you know. And also, it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it enables you to, to interact with your children, you know, in, instead of just putting them in, in front of YouTube, uh, iPod, iPad, whatever, you know. So why not have some game, you know, uh, show some, show a few signs, uh, have a song together, whatever, you know, interact with your children yeah <laughs> it's very important well now the i think uh, the sign language has another side it has uh, a way of changing the relationship of uh, the parent with the children let's play and let's communicate with the quote-unquote pretext of uh, teaching the language it's a time to be together yes it's really uh, um it's really um a time to uh, what is time meant with, with the children? Yeah. And, uh, and at Baby Science, we have many, many, many resources that might help you uh, to do that. So it's the workshops and the classes that we, that we are organizing, like the parent workshop, which is um, the workshop for introducing Baby Science program to, to parents. And really, you know, like um, showing them how to start uh, the process of using uh, sign language uh, in in their home. So I can, if you allow sure. me, I can show you some of the resources. So this is the 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 starter kit, like we call it. It's the starter kit. Maybe I should put a little bit closer. This is the the box if you want. And what's in the, this box is the parent guide to the baby sign which basically explain, explains so how to start, when to start, what is the program, what we have been talking actually during this interview, how to start, when to start, um, some tips for signing, uh, what are the benefits, etc. Then you have a quick flip reference guide that's very nice because it's, um, it's a magnet, so you can put it on your fridge or whatever you have in um, in the kitchen or elsewhere and then it's like a flip chart so you can uh, this one is closed and unfortunately I uh, so it you it's like you have the uh, the alphabet yeah and you have you have signs by the alphabet so you can flip the the things you know it's, it's kind of a reminder for parents you know if they forgot the sign and you know they can easily you know check check the sign and so it, it helps them to really practice um, as often as they can, which is uh, one of the things that we really, really recommend. So start the sign at, you know, any use any opportunity that you can find to sign with your with your children. Make it really a daily practice. Uh, then you have um, you have a DVD favorite favorites. It's called. DVD where you have like animated, um, you know, like animals, it's Bebo also there, they're showing signs and it's, you know, like fun, fun to watch, to, to watch for the children. And then there is an introduction, introductory, uh, like DVD, it's an introduction from the founders. And then there is a video dictionary in it with 150 signs. So there is, a, you know, um, I think it's uh, Dr. Linda Credo who is saying the word and there is one uh, girl who is showing the signs. Uh, so that's very practical too. And then you have four little board books, little board books my meal time, my bath time, my pets and my bed time that you can use, you know, at the, before sleeping, for example, to read and do the signs together. Like here we have uh, my bed time. So 
you have stars uh, and then there are the, the little babies um, uh, one of them is called sunshine uh, they are also in the in the DVDs Suki sunshine uh, squiggles <laughs> they're showing the signs and there is yeah sunshine again and scooter and songbird so this this is very fun also and so basically this is the the parent workshop then we have some concept cards that i can show you where you have also you see like for example this is the sign for all done with a picture all done yeah Big. Drink. the picture what is this drink this is the sign for drink etc so it's full of very nice cards very it's practical very resources nice. so, yeah very nice you know you can like for example in one of our classes what we do is we have a, a um, like a, a bin or something and then we put or, or a bag whatever we put those cards and then for example the parents and with the children they they pick up a card and then they have to show the sign and things like that you know so it's interesting to, to practice then there are those uh, board books this is the favorite one, and there is a time to eat. So these are also, you know, books that you can use to show science, practice science. Or the baby, you know, they, they love they love uh, going through the pages and showing the sign with the, the parents, another activity you can do with your child. Then there are some, you know, some packs like this where you have a DVD, some, some concept cards and one, uh, you know, board book there with different, also different uh, themes like bedtime, pets, etc. They, you have, uh, here you have the, oops. So it's the I Can Sign Complete DVD series. It's also per team. So here you have uh, about the program, introduction and the video dictionary, I think. This is park, getting dressed, uh, bath time, bed time, pets, and the meal time. And so it's also you know, it's with uh, those babies that I mentioned, the animated yeah. uh, babies and the, the, you know, like animals showing the signs, doing funny stuff, etc. So it's very nice. And another thing that I have, I can show you today is the sign say and play kit. That's for our sign say and play classes, which are actually a six weeks classes. And each week we have a different theme with songs, with activities, uh, um, uh, games. And th those are classes for parents and children Actually. together. To participate together, and here we have you, you know, uh, a series of songs: "Siggledy Piggledy Bubbledy Boop," <laughs> "My Baby Science Songs." Here you have uh, another video dictionary. There is the quick reference guide, with, guide which is very uh, interesting, also for other family members that you have that are using sign language. It's also you know for to uh, like a reminder for. Um, for the signs, so you have many signs here that they, you know, you can just check and um, if you forget. And then you have the 10 steps, baby signs to success starts with just a few. Always use the sign and the word together. Repeat the sign and the word, point when possible. Yeah, that's very important also to point. Uh, guide your baby's hands, as I said, but, you know, not push, not to push if they don't want that. Make signing a part of your daily activities, which is very important. So as I, as I mentioned, use every opportunity to sign. If you, like, for example, you want to sign dog or your baby loves dogs. So you would like see a dog on a cup, you would sign dog. You would see, you know, a toy dog, you would sign. You go for a walk, you see a dog, you would do Again, the sign. You yeah. know, use really, really every opportunity. Watch for opportunities too. Be flexible, be patient, and make signing fun. <laughs> and then you have the two board books and you have two DVDs also in this one. 
Well, it is uh, really the, is very well supported the uh, yeah, the program. And this is only a small part of it because we have a potty training also, which is very interesting and very successful, and uh, all other we call them <clears throat> on the grow programs. So we have very 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 um, you know uh, um, how do you say developed. Uh, um, I mean, we have many, many, many res resources and classes um, that we can <clears throat> use to help uh, parents uh, yeah. to, you know, to to, to make practice uh, easy. To, yeah, easy and and to do it regularly, you know, at home and and everywhere. You know, when I, when you were uh, talking, presenting the 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 products or the support. Mm -hmm. uh, I came up with the idea, uh, we've been talking a lot about, uh, if you wish, prevention, raising the child to create this communication. And in the back of my mind, what about the people who did not start using sign language when they were babies, but they want to start doing it afterwards, let's say at the one or at two years old, when they are doing the, when the children are starting with the tantrums. Oh, they can, you know, they, they can, it's much easier. I mean, they will get the um, results much uh, faster than those uh, at smaller age because they, you know, they already start, you know, saying some words and everything. So it will make it much more easier and, uh, and they will start signing back um, much more rapidly than if you start at an earlier age. So it is helpful at any stage, you know, this program is actually uh, from zero to to two, but the baby science program is to from zero to two years years. But the whole program, so as I as I told you, we have many other resource resources and uh, classes. It's really, um, you, I mean, it's really useful for uh, children until the age of five. And also, um, what we have noticed also that the best teachers are the older brothers and sisters, I those bet, who, have, yeah. who have, you know, uh, signed when they were babies and, um, you, you know, they, they start speaking, of course, they will drop it, but as soon as another baby comes in the family, you know, they, it comes back to them, so they will start, um, uh, you know, using science with you, with their, with the other, with the, with the newborn, and um, and then you know, it's 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 very funny to watch older older brothers and sisters uh, doing science with their younger brothers and sisters. It's very nice. Also. Going going back to this building, the communication. Yeah. Uh, um. In uh, uh, helping us closing the conversation, Lepak, uh, uh, what is, if you wish, the bottom line? What will be the top reason or the top three reasons why parents should be using sign language for their children? Uh, first of all, as I said, it's uh, because it really reduces frustration and the tantrum. It's uh, it instructs. Uh, it enhances uh, the, the parenting fund bond. It creates uh, so really this you know this I mean um, it, it 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 enhances it's not it doesn't create because it's already there the emotional bond and the social bond it really gives you an opportunity to interact with your with your children uh, to do activities together to spend really quality time with your children which is um, you know uh, we we do that less and less today. And so it's very, and it's very, very important for their, for their development, for their future. So that's one, one, one of the things it, um, it helps them to talk. It helps them really develop uh, their interest for books and reading. And really there are many, 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 many other benefits from it. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you uh, discover some of them, you know. Oh, terrific, terrific. <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, call me and tell me, oh, I noticed this and I noticed that. I would love to hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the, that's the bottom line, eh? what the mother sees as benefits. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, the terrific. bottom line is, and, and the most important thing is really to be able to communicate with your child before they're able to speak. Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely. That's really good. Absolutely. That's the, the bottom and the top line. <laughs> <laughs> program, really. Le, but thank you very, very much. It's been very helpful. I, uh, uh, I love to, to learn that uh, things that supposedly were for some other people could be, you know, the sign language supposedly for deaf people could be fantastic for uh, uh, normal children. And for uh, children with language uh, challenges, uh, mm -hmm. it's very helpful. Uh, very, very helpful. Another thing that I would like to mention and, and really enhance, actually, that we I forgot to, to really talk about is uh, it's very important also, and we encourage parents uh, in at Baby Science uh, to really follow their lead, follow the, the lead of your baby. So, you know, as parents, we tend to always, you know, talk and uh, try to teach them science uh, about things that we want them to learn, um, that we think it's important and, and etc. But believe me, there is a lot going on in their head. There is a, there are a lot of things they want to talk about to, you know, and, and share with you. So just let them follow their lead. You know, if they're more interested in, you know, showing that they want to go out instead of, uh, I don't know, showing uh, the, the sign for drink or dog because they 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 love animals. So the sign for dog, <laughs> this is it. If they're more interested in that, then do this science first, you will have much more success. <laughs> that is so and, beautiful and, because and I think that's very important. I just say happy signing. Yeah, happy signing. Yeah, yeah. Fo follow the lead of the children. Le learn to listen to the children, learn from them. Lepa, I'm very, very thankful of, uh, for all for your time, for all this wisdom. I will be putting all your uh, URLs in the bottom of this uh, video. And uh, thank you everybody else uh, for watching. <laughs>